Где паспорт Анны? Вот квартира Бориса. Я не читал конец письма. In these examples, we're talking about possession or attribution. But notice how the endings of the nouns are changing. Anna becomes Anli. Boris becomes Borisa. Pismo becomes Pisma. These are genitive case endings, and one of the most common uses of the genitive is to indicate ownership or possession or attribution. Uh, we'll also use them after numbers and with negation and, and a lot of other contexts. So you'll be using these, these endings all the time. So in this video, let's look at genitive case endings of nouns. Basic ending for masculine and neuter nouns is a. Yuzik, yuzika, baris, barisa, akno, akna, pismo, pisma. And after soft stems, we'll spell that ending with the letter ya. Abshirjitya, abshirjitya. Словарь, словаря, музей, музея, Дмитрий, Дмитрия. Remember that we're going to drop the икраткая and the мягкий знак, the soft sign, before we add that ending. Another thing to keep in mind here is that the о and the е in suffixes like ец and ок is fleeting. That is, it disappears whenever you add an ending. So we'll get forms like these. From подарок, remove the о, and then in the ending to get подарка. Отец, same thing, remove the е, then at the ending to get отца. You can also see this in other words when the е or the о, or sometimes a ё, is the second to last letter in the word. Gavior, get rid of the ё, at the ending, gavra. Let's look at some examples. See if you can give the genitive form before it appears on the screen and say why it's spelled the way it is. Stol, stala, yzik, yzika. Those two are the basic spelling of the ending. Slavar, slavaria, Nikolai, Nikolaya, Vasili. Vasilia. And see how we're dropping that final soft sign and ikratka before we add the ending. And by the way, take care with names like Mitri, Vasili, and some other nouns that end in i ikratka. They may remind you of words like haroshi, malinki, but keep in mind that they are nouns, so they take noun endings. Haroshi and malinki are, of course, adjectives. So even if the nominative forms happen to look the same, you will see the difference in other cases. So here in the genitive, you get the noun endings, Dmitria, Vasilia, but the adjectives will take adjective endings, Kharoshava, Malinkava, for example. Let's do a little more practice. Mikhail, Mikhaila, Ukrainitz, Ukrainca, Niemiec, Niemca. Watch the fleeting ye for these two. Vrach, Vracha, Borisovich, Borisovicha. Moving on, the basic genitive case ending for feminine nouns is u, Shkola, Shkoli, Mama, Mamy, Moskva, Moskvy. And of course, after soft stems, we'll spell that with the letter i. Kuchnya, Kuchni, Olya. Oli, Tiotia, Tioti, Lekcia, Lekcii, Kravati, Kravati. Now the words Mat and Dutch also count as soft stems, but watch out for how they also get this Ye R that appears whenever you add uh, an ending. Mat, Matiri, Dutch, Dutchiri. And simya, simyi. Notice how we're not going to remove that uh, soft sign if it was not the last letter in the word. We'll also need the letter e when the seven letter spelling rule is involved. Remember that after these seven letters, we use e in place of u. 
книга, книги, бабушка, бабушки, Маша, Маши. You've probably seen how a few Russian words referring to men and often Russian nicknames uh, for men end in a or ya. So like these feminine nouns, they'll take y or i in the genitive. Паша, паши, папа, папы, дедушка, дедушки, Коля, Коли. So again, let's practice and see if you can get the genitive form before it appears on the screen and say why it's spelled the way it is. Квартира, квартиры, книга, книги, Саша, Саши. Those two take E because of the seven letter spelling rule. Таня, Тани. Here we have the E just because it's a soft stem. Мама, мамы, кухня, кухни, soft stem, кровать, кровати, дядя, дяди, soft stems again, лампа, лампы, семья, семьи. Summing up, the genitive ending for masculine and neuter nouns uh, sounds like a, and that's spelled with the letter a after hard stems and with the letter ya after soft stems. Feminine nouns in the genitive singular end in u after hard stems, e after soft stems, or when the seven-letter spelling rule is involved. Remember that male persons and nicknames that end in a or ya also take the u e ending. And watch for those irregular words mats and doch, which become matsiri and dochiri in the genitive singular.